Hello everybody. Uh, I'm doing this video out of demand and a lot of emails via YouTube asking how do I do the lick I just did. Uh, on some of my do Doomback videos on YouTube I do this this technique and uh, it generates uh, a lot of questions about how it's played and how I, and how I play it. So I'm going to do a demonstration and uh, break the technique down. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, most people, the, like the biggest misunderstanding about it is most people think I'm releasing all my fingers at the same time when I do this. But I'm actually not. What I'm doing is uh, the resistance of this part of my hand here, the, this, this area of skin right here, is restricting my fingers from coming out. So if I push on them as hard as I can, I can let them all go at the same time if I want to. But instead what I do is I just release them one at a time like this. So in the video, I always play, you know, in the, in the videos that I do, my hand's always this way, and you can't see the technique. So you don't actually need a doom back to practice this. You could just actually take your hand, doesn't matter if you're right handed or left handed, and you can literally just sit there and go like this. So what you want to do is you want to release each finger at a separate time. Um, the pinky is typically the hardest one. Um, so if any of the fingers give you a hard time, it's going to be this one. And then as you get better at it, you just release them a little quicker like this. And if you do it, if you listen carefully to your hand, to the sound of your uh, nails releasing themselves from, the, from the, this part of the hand, you can actually hear the lick. You probably don't pick it up on the microphone too well. But that's all that lick is right there. And then I always follow it up with a, a ka stroke. So I get five notes that way. Now, in any high-tension instrument, as far as the head's concerned, you can do this lick. I've done it on bongos. I've done it on cajon before. I've done it on some frame drums. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much up to you. Here you can see on the, on the minor doom back here, you can see the wear on the head here from where my fingers go by. That's why that looks like that. It's funny because someone asked me that question is why is the logo, uh, is the logo like that and that's the reason. So at the end of the video here when it ends of the second I'm going to do a, uh, a play along where I implement the technique like usual. Um, and if you have any questions you can email me through YouTube or uh, if you want to email me directly my email address is uh, on the video as well. Uh, again just to recap it releasing one finger at a time just like that don't do this don't release them all at the same time it's not the right technique just nice and steady like that if you see how my thumb is kind of going like that there's just it's just natural to, for it to do that um, I'm not doing that on purpose it's just happening so there you go okay well here's the play along good luck <laughs> 